everybody. Looks like it's Inktober Day 15. We're halfway there. So, how's it been going for you? Have you been keeping up or have you kind of slowed down? I'm pretty proud that so far I'm keeping up. If you want to see my daily drawings, I'm posting them on Instagram every day and on my Facebook page, so check out the links for the details. So I thought we'd take just a gander at what I've done so far. Of course, I did my cover. I have the official prompt list, just in case I need to look at it again. For the first day, poisonous, I did lightning bugs. They are, they contain substance, toxins that are poisonous to animals who'd eat them. That was an interesting fact that I learned. Tranquil, a little baby fawn sleeping in the forest. Roasted. I used it as the slang term. So this poor little uh, wet crow is getting roasted by his buddy. Spell. It made me think of a moth to a flame. So I have a moth. Chicken. For chicken, we have two what are considered prairie chickens, the greater prairie chicken and the sharp-tailed grouse. I decided to do a sharp-tailed grouse. Drooling for day six. Possums are known to drool as a defense mechanism. If they can't scare you with their teeth, then they start drooling and acting like they're sick to try and make you think they're not worth eating. This was much looser, and I actually kind of like it. I didn't think I would, but I like it. Exhausted, I did a sleeping bobcat, who's probably exhausted after a long day of hunting. Day eight, that was a toughie, star. But then I remembered the lone star tick. These are a very dangerous tick. People who are bit by this tick can con contract a terrible allergy that will make them allergic to all red meat. Some people, the allergy goes away. Some people have it the rest of their lives. But ticks are not one of my favorite things, that's for sure. Precious. I just did a little baby cottontail eating some leaves. Flowing. One of my favorite places I lived in Yankton, South Dakota for 10 years. There's a dam site out there called Gavin's Point Dam. And at the base of the dam, the water's highly oxygenated. And paddlefish thrive there, the American paddlefish. They're a rare species and they are just amazing. So I have the flowing waters of the dam with the paddlefish below. Cruel. I don't mind hunting. But as far as these leg traps go, I find them to be very cruel. They can break the leg of the, per of the animal it catches, um, and the animal suffers a great deal. So I, they're outlawed in some states, but not all. So for me, this is the epitome of cruel when it comes to wildlife. Also, there's been inst instances of children, people, pets, getting caught in these kinds of traps, and it's just not pretty. It's not good. Whale. That was a toughie. No whales in Nebraska. I mean, what, what am I going to do? So I decided to use whale as in a whale of a tail, something large. We have the very elusive jackalope in Nebraska, and this is a jackrabbit-antelope hybrid. They're very hard to find. I don't think there are any existing photographs. Had to work from memory on this one. But yeah, there's my jackalope, my whale of a tail. Guarded. Skunks are very guarded creatures. They're very cautious. And likewise, if you see a skunk, you need to be very guarded and cautious as well. Now, I can say honestly, I have been in the presence of a skunk, which totally startled me. But if you remain calm and quiet and you don't corner them, they'll just go about their way 
It looked like a fluffy kitty cat, let me tell you. It was so cute, but I just stayed still and let it walk on by. Day 14 with clock. That was another tough one. And then it hit me. The extinction clock. Currently, the gray wolf, Canis lupus, is extinct. <coughs> Excuse me. In Nebraska. The last one was shot and killed in 1912. Right now, we have four mammal species that are endangered. We have the southern flying squirrel, river otter, swift fox, and black-footed ferret. And if we don't intervene and try to save these species, time's running out, and I don't want to see them go extinct. <coughs> And today is prompt week. I thought there was nothing cuter than a weak little newborn calf. So here's my little elk calf trying to stand for the very first time. So there's tomorrow, angler. If you want to see this one, pop onto my Facebook page Kathleen Langle Wildlife Art, or follow me on Instagram or Twitter at Langle Art. Links below in the description. I have to say I'm pretty happy with this paper. I tested on it prior to starting in October, and I really love how the ink responds on it. Also, I've had some fun things. I loved my porcelain palette so much that, yeah, I got a second one because I plan to do more watercolor and ink pens and these are just amazing. They wash up really easily and I love them. I love them. Also, I've always wanted to try this um, master's brush cleaner. Also, I've always wanted to try this master's brush cleaner. I finally broke down and bought a sample because it, it can be kind of expensive. I am so impressed with this. It smells nice, number one. It's got a very lemony smell. But this little thing here, let me get this brush, the bristles were blue. They were stained from watercolor and ink tents. And even though they were stained from using them two years ago, that's when they first got stained, the brush cleaner has gotten the blue out of the bristles. I am so amazed. No, no matter what I cleaned them with, they were always stained. But this brush cleaner has just taken them right back so I highly recommend this master's brush cleaner to anyone who uses watercolor ink tents. It's a must-have. Well, that's it for today. I'm looking forward to uh, the next 16 days of Inktober and having a cool little sketchbook to look back on. I hope you all are having fun and be sure to check out Kelly Paints and Courtney Hertz art because they're doing a month-long collaboration for Inktober and it is so much fun. Courtney has tons of stories that she's doing every day that relate to the prompt, the official prompt list, and Kelly is doing um, urban legends and tales from around the world and they're very interesting and their artwork is just beautiful and they're having a huge, huge giveaway at the end of Inktober. So you need to check out their channels. I'll have them popped up here in links below in the description. Check them out. Subscribe. You won't regret it. It's a lot of fun. All right. Until next time, keep creating. <laughs>